Last week, the company's secretary of Lotsat Promo Media, Abim Bola Inyola, appeared before the panel in response to a summons issued on the company to come and assist the panel with its investigations into the incident of October 20, 2020. Under cross examination by additional Gulano, counsel to some of the NSAS protesters, Mr. Inyola said the billboard at the Lekki toll gate does not serve the purpose of illuminating the Lekki toll grounds. The advert company had come under criticism, especially on social media, for turning off the billboard, throwing the Lekki toll gate into darkness, and allegedly providing cover for soldiers to open fire on the NSAS protesters on the night of October 20, 2020. your billboard, when it's over, does it? Illumination. Okay, sir. It's as good as saying that there's a TV in our homes. Sir, as, 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 that is, that's how I can answer, answer it, sir. If it is switched off, that toll gate has been there since 2012. It does not provide light for that place, sir. That's how I can answer that question. A second witness, Sarah Ibrahim, who had testified that at least 12 people were killed at the Lekki toll gate failed to appear before the panel on account of ill health. The panel moved on to Dr. Ayobamia Romolate, the chief medical director of Granville Medical Center. He told the panel that the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria was not happy that he had divulged certain confidential records of patients at his last testimony. He pleaded with the panel to order the television cameras to be turned off so he could give his testimony off record, a request the panel obliged. Shola Shreeli, Channels Television News.